Hey guys, it's me, Darby. I'm only gonna be a few minutes here. I wanted to share with you a great idea that a couple of people that are getting ready to do weddings, yeah, weddings, get married, um, have come by and so we've got this really cool idea to be able to go ahead and let them just rent the parts and pieces it would take to make a really cool wedding setting. In other words, doors, windows, screens, wood, maybe you'll do some flooring for a dance area, if it's outside. Um, the idea behind this is to go ahead and to uh, show people that you can use old salvage materials to create some pretty cool environments, maybe even for art, photography, maybe you want to do a photo shoot, and then bring all the material back, okay? Now, if this works, this is a good way for other people to go ahead and do this sort of thing. Maybe you want to do maybe some uh, uh, wedding ceremony setups so you can have different settings. And what I could do is be able to go ahead and help people get materials. Basically help microfinance your business by providing you with doors, windows, and all the materials it might be to make four or five settings. And then you become a wedding setting specialist. You can go out there and do some walls for backdrops, some really cool windows for pictures, maybe some columns and set up a little thing with vines on it. I've got all that. Yeah. And I can go ahead and set you up to do it too. Yeah, the windows from the 60s. Oh, well, 60s. I didn't know we had any beautiful windows in the 60s, Amber. Um, but I have some to go back to the 1800s, 1860s maybe even. Stained glass, chapel glass. And think about this. If you go and put these in, the, in a field and you drop some posts in, that's all you have to do really if you were going to do a pasture setting. And drop some posts in and then attach your doors and your windows to the posts. And now you've got a beautiful wedding scene. And I'm talking about shutters, screens, and such and such. Another thing we're trying to do is to be able to go ahead and I've got thousands and thousands of square feet of uh, skins from the outsides of beams. So if we take those and we put them like you're building a fence, except it turns into a wall when you stand it up, you can actually make it to divide windows and stuff, uh, divide areas for people to eat at and sit at so that they're COVID safe and free. Um, so this is a way to take antique doors. I have maybe 2,000 in stock and be able to screw them together and make partitions and backdrops and windbreaks and other sorts of things like that. Now, if you're interested in doing something like that, no matter where you are, because you can't all do it here, um, and you want to maybe get into that kind of thing, you're going to have to get hold of me, Darby, at puresalvageliving.com. We'll use that address, Darby, at puresalvageliving.com. And you can get hold of me if you have a place, if you're an honest person that I would trust to go ahead and help provide you with materials to get started, or if you have money and you want to go ahead and invest even better, come in with a trailer. Take some cool windows, doors, wood, beams. I've got tongue groove flooring. I've got beaded board. I've got gingerbread. I've got some incredible columns. And you can go ahead and make settings. And you just unbolt them, put them together, unbolt them, put them together. And every time you do that, you're going to make $1,000 at a wedding. Or two thousand, because it, it actually is an amazing thing that you can create, and then take away. Instead of somebody having to spend ten thousand dollars on it, you can come in there and set it up and go. So I say outside of beams, beams. The beams are um, I you know I have twelve by twelves and four by sixes and all the the lumber it would take to literally build a chapel on the site if somebody wanted to, and that's not a bad idea, just to put up the shell of a chapel. So you put the floor down, you put the outside siding on, and some cool windows in there and a roof on it. Hmm. You might make a lot of money having a chapel on your little better breakfast site. Just so happens I have all the materials to do that. Um, the money or the manpower or the space, Amber, that's most people's problem. That's why you got to go ahead and team up with people. Um, if possible, find sane people to team up with. But ultimately... I was just getting on here real quick to tell everybody this is a possibility. Um, I've got a lot of wood I'm trying to go ahead and put into the hands of the next stewards for the next decade or two to make stuff out of. And I want the salvage living concept to grow. And the only way for it to grow is to get more people to consider it. You know, no toxins, no plastics, no vinyls. You don't have to import anything. You don't have to cut down a tree. And you have all the wood you could possibly want, and it's the most beautiful wood you could ever use. So, 
Yeah, I think a lot of people are self-serving, but I still believe, not that I have evidence, but I still believe we can do better. So, I'm opening this opportunity up. If more of you are interested, please, get in touch. Follow the blog on tinytexashouses.com. There's some real good information going out there. Also, if you want to get into the business of making dog houses, cat houses, play houses, all that kind of stuff, this is a great time. Why? Because I'm microfinancing people to get them started. That means then to give you all the materials for a package to do that, you sell it, you pay me back. Let's say you want to keep it and live in it. So you pay me over five years, a little bit every month. The idea is to get you doing it without the excuse, I ain't got no money. So for a lot of people, that's the sticky part, the money. So we take care of that. Next trick is, I don't have no help. Well, make friends. Be nice. The others can benefit too. You're talking to other people into helping. Yes, I agree. The finding somebody to trust, absolutely. Number one problem. Unfortunately, the ethos in America has deteriorated to the point that people lie, cheat, and steal and don't feel bad about it all over the place. But I still believe there's a core, a group. If they get together in each place and want to do something, they can do it. But you got to spot the liars. If you got a liar, you got a thief. You can't be a liar and have God in your heart, love in your heart. You can't even have a friend if you're a liar, unless it's another liar and you just like sharing each other's lies. Now, this is an opportunity for truth tellers. This is an opportunity for those seeking to be healthy, to stay young. At 66, I'm telling you what, you just don't have to get old and die. Have a passion, have a dream, and go out and make it happen, all right? I'm gonna help you, please. Get in touch. Mike, you're supposed to be by here. Finally caught me live. Yeah, you just come by and see me, dude. You got nothing to do. You're just out there traveling on the road. Everybody's dream, except that'll wear out too. I think you're going to learn. Come visit, man. I need older guys to help teach these young kids, man. If I don't get my generation at 66 to step up to the plate, who's going to teach those 40-year-olds? Who's going to teach those 20-year-olds that don't have anything out of school? Hardly at all. Is turning. Some kids want to leave that techno society and go back to the skills, the self sufficiency. Re injured your back. Man, that's because that a belly? Dude, it's that belly. 75% of your body weight is supposed to be carried on your stomach muscles. This part down here. Hear that? Remember, that's in my upper abdominal hernia. That's how your back doesn't hurt. I speak because I have a broken back, dude. So, Please, we can get you better, but it's not going to be sitting down. It's going to be doing stuff, swimming. I got acres of water to swim in. Anyway, if you intend to leave the system, that's right. You tend to be the ones that don't like following the rules. That's right. But on the other side, I don't like following rules. It doesn't mean you won't be successful. It doesn't mean you can't do good things. It doesn't mean you won't be an honest person. The rules are not necessarily good. A lot of bad rules are made by corporations because they want nothing but money. Money. Profit. That's not my goal, guys. I got money. More than I need. My goal is to get you building out of American materials, American money, American energy. Somehow we got to rebuild some pride and some sort of something to be proud of. Because frankly, this little thing in Afghanistan is not making me proud as a veteran. It's not making me proud as an American. Please, let's do something together so we can make America a place you can be proud in again. Y'all have a good day. I gotta get off. Bye.